So this is a capsule neuron. It's a like medical device. It's like a vital signs thing. And it's basically just a mini computer tablet. So it's got Windows XP on it apparently. I've yet to look a lot into this thing. I just know that it's a mini computer, but I don't really know the model number and it has been opened. I don't even know if it works. I don't know if it has all of its things, but we're gonna see in this video. And if this video is uploaded, then well, something happened. Um, I'm also I'm gonna try to put like Windows 10 on this or something. Um, but since it's already open, it's definitely been used before because, well, it's clearly dirty, as you can see here. It's got uh, quite a bit of fingerprints on it. You can see on the back, Windows XP enabled. It does look like it has a battery. It's not in there correctly, so that's not entirely promising. It could be bulging or just not installed correctly. And yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's not broken or anything. In the box is a metal thingy. I think this is a wall plate or a plate to hold it to like one of those medical stand things. It doesn't really say. I'm noticing 2014, I don't know if that's a date or not, but this is running Windows XP. Um, so, I mean, unless they used Windows XP up until recently, but I tried selling this on eBay also before making this video, but it was up there for like two weeks, got no views and stuff. So I figured I'd just make a video on it and use it for at least something. And there's nothing in the box. So I'm gonna have to find an adapter, however this thing charges. Um, I don't have that. Let's see. Okay, we got serial and USB, so that's something. Something on the other side too. Okay, it looks like we got a barrel jack, ethernet, and another USB. But I'm not seeing anywhere where it's labeled what type of power output this is, so I guess Googling time? Okay, I found the charger that fits specifications. It's this Sage something. I know I just had it. It's brand new apparently, so it should work. Before it's plugged in though, I guess I should check the battery. Oh, look, okay, it just went down. I guess it just wasn't in place. Wow, that's really hard to get out. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. All right, well, I got the battery out. We got a 2600 milliamp hour battery with 38 watt hours, and it actually looks okay. It's not bulged or anything. I guess it just wasn't in there properly. And on the inside, we've got a, looks like a SIM card slot and just some holes. Yeah. Okay, I got a full-size keyboard connected and a mouse, which makes it a bit look a bit odd. But I'm gonna plug it in and see if it explodes. It hopefully it won't, but we, you never know. Um, I don't know where the power button is. So it's on the side. Hey, look! There you go. It works. The capsule. What it takes to connect. Now, okay. There's American Megatron's screen for like a second. Did it die? Oh, okay. Okay, um, well, it, I guess it works. This doesn't look like Windows XP at all, but it does look like it's just a custom thing. Like, it's not connected to a server, so it's one of those things that probably won't work. Uh, I don't know if there's a hard drive in here. There is a status activity light and it is doing stuff, but uh, I might just take this apart before doing anything else just to see what's inside. Um, I highly doubt that this thing doesn't have, I mean, this thing probably has a BIOS password too because, well, it's a piece of equipment like that. So I have to figure out maybe how to bypass that too. It might just be a jumper or something. So taking it apart will help a lot. I have no clue how to take this apart and there are no obvious guides because, well, who's taking this apart averagely on a, like a daily basis or something. But there are some noticeable screws like I'm assuming under these covers are probably screws and maybe under here too. There's two right here and I'm not sure what else. I think this back comes off first and maybe this band, but I'm going to time lapse it and we'll see when I take it apart. Okay, this was not a screw hole and these two screws are longer than the other ones, which is just an annoying thing they did back then and even still today. Okay, I think it comes apart here, but even just messing with it a little bit, it's starting to fall apart. Uh, the plastic is, well, really weak. So I'm gonna try to continue to take this or to uh, use this metal tool around the edges because I'm pretty sure it comes off here because there's a gap here, but I'm gonna do it very slowly and probably in a time lapse.
Okay, I did find out where it uh, comes off, but for the sake of it's going to take a while and my battery is going to die before I finish this, I'm just going to do all of this off of camera, plus it's literally just the same thing I did on this side, but the other remaining sides. Okay, discovered something, turns out these are screws, and I didn't even have to do any of the stuff I just did before because it just separates when you take those out. But they don't look like screws, but uh, with some pliers I just twisted them out and it came apart. Okay, now with those screws thing, screw things removed, it should just open up like that. And it looks actually very computer in there. But that's probably because it's a computer. Uh, we got, looks like a Wi-Fi card there, some sort of CF card, the battery. Uh, this is where the main battery goes. We've got a heat sink probably covering the, I think there's an Intel processor in here. This goes to that and yeah, it actually looks basically just like a laptop in here. Tried to remove the CF card, but the heat sink is in the way. So I'm gonna take that off real quick and we'll see it or I'm gonna try to, yeah. All right, let's take a look at what processor is in here. Maybe. Maybe I gotta loosen those more. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I think that's just really, oh, there we go. And there we go, there's that tiny little processor. Accidentally damaged the camera uh, port, but it's not being used, so it shouldn't matter that much. And that is a cute little four gigabyte flash card. Okay, this has probably never happened on this specific device before, but this is Windows 11, booting from a USB. Now I couldn't find the boot menu key. I know it's AMI BIOS, so it was either delete uh, F2 or F1, but pushing that was doing nothing. But luckily this is a flash card, and sometimes if you just take it out and then let it boot to the USB, then quickly plug it back in, it should show up in Windows if it loads. It, it didn't load. Oh, well, I guess that's why. Uh, it's a 32-bit processor. I thought I put the 32-bit in there, but I guess I didn't, so I'm gonna get the 32-bit one. So I had to switch to Windows uh, 10 because I actually forgot that Windows 11 doesn't have a 32-bit, so it, it wouldn't have worked. Um, so I'm actually using Windows 10, but it's a like smaller version of Windows 10. It's Tiny 10 by NT Dev, um, so it's only two gigabytes versus the original, which is I think around eight-ish gigabytes. Um, so this should definitely be able to run it because the compact flash card in there is only four gigabytes. Um, so there's not a lot of space on there, but this should work. Okay, so I once again had to change the operating system, this time to Windows 7, because Windows 10 um, required like four gigabytes, but the flash card only had like three available and it wouldn't install. So Windows 7 only requires one gigabyte, so it should be able to install. When this installs, the mission now is to just run Doom on it because, well, it's funny, you know? Okay, it took 45 minutes when I finally got Windows 7 installed. It's Windows 7 Ultimate and we got an Intel Atom Z510 at 1.10 gigahertz. That's so fast, and we got a whopping one gig of RAM, which is perfect for Windows 7, should be able to run that perfectly fine. But now, let's just try to install Doom. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do it off of a, a USB stick because um, there's no space left on the actual flash card in here. It's just the operating system. I think it's safe to say that mission was accomplished. Now, I can't use the keyboard and the mouse at the same time because Doom is installed off of this USB, so it's running off of that USB. And there's only two USB ports, so the computer's plugged in, but luckily, it is touchscreen, so I can at least start the game. Sure, we'll go with it. It's actually running it really well. <laughs> the screen, the touchscreen's a little, uh, touchy, but mission accomplished. We installed Windows 7 and are running Doom perfectly fine, actually. I wonder what else it can run, maybe future video or something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching, I guess. Uh, this is, and the sound is working too. <laughs> anyway, this is Doom on a capsule neuron, a medical device. So yeah.